They'll be calling you a radical. Well, it's 22 months to go today that I got hit by that truck called amelochemia. Given two months to live, 22 months ago, as I told my friends today, people I talked to, my family, my team of doctors, nurses, I'm no different than the rest of you. We talk about statistical probability of, I know that the odds are not good with me still, but they're much better than they were. And I'm no different than the rest of you now, because we're all downwinders now. We're all in this fight, whether you want to be in this fight or not. And I want to talk about some of the propaganda. First off, Ryan, who's been in Japan, who I believe his YouTube channel's called Freedom WV. Anyway, I'll post it right here. His work's historical. He's in Japan. He's done great, great work over there. His videos are awesome. By the way, I want to talk about these people, the regurgitation, this bullshit stories that Forbes put out, this queen ass kissing propagandist piece of shit about 76 million bananas in equal to trinium. The only reason trinium is being used in this thesis right now, the only reason we, people like me, are using this word over the last 60 days because the hallmark of China's syndrome. Look, these nuclear meltdowns let all kinds of these. This is the first time in history China syndrome has happened. In the first time in world history that we've had full blown out nuclear fission. First time it's ever happened. They release hundreds of different chemicals. We use trinium right now because it is the hallmark for us to identify nuclear fission taking place, China syndrome. As TEPCO themselves in their wells 100 times increased, 90 times. Compounded, the greatest power in the history of man is compounding, Einstein. We know that's how we read that. So we're, that's the only reason the word trinium is even being used. You want to use trinium? It is plutonium. Plutonium. You don't get trinium. You don't get cesium. You don't get all these without plutonium. Plutonium kills you dead. They're even finding traces of little pads of metal on the beach there. We don't, I mean, this is on. I mean, how can you go into not? And I want to say this. There is no wrong or right. There's only popular opinion. And as far as law, you and print media who regurgitate this bullshit stories, ABC Online has went over and talked to one of the Fukushima 2000, which the Fuku it's not the Fukushima 50, as Daily Mail themselves reported that five of the Fukushima 50 are already dead. I've reported over and over the multiple of them that are dead. We know that they're already dead. This is, we're starting to see the byproduct of this even stronger than Chernobyl. As Global Research has done some incredible work, I'll post their work. They're, they've done some great as of late reporting. The Christian Science Monitor, they, I'm done with them. You don't even want to get me going on those fake Christians, those usury America, round up the usual suspects. It is plutonium, and you people that put this in print media, you propagandist whores that work for the industry. Okay, you think about white collar crime in this country. It's illegal to pay a person cash and exploit labor. It's illegal. But there is no wrong or right, there's only popular opinion. Just because we don't enforce the laws, we have plenty of, for you to put this in print media, it's crimes, okay? For Sanjay Gupta to go on March 26, 2011 and read and put a doctor for Japan, oh, radiation saves lives. Oh, I went over to Chernobyl and I'm fishing at Chernobyl. This is a guy who took the Hippocratic Art of the Dark. These are crimes against you. They're, they, these are crimes. For you to put out, oh, on Nature News, regard to, this is just bananas. These are crimes against your children. These are crimes against humanity. These are punishable crimes. That, you know, we'll need a new Hague. You know, maybe we sit it up here in Ogden. We'll call it the Ogden. And we'll freak here in Downwinderville because we're all downwinders. And we'll, all you people, in, as people say, just like white collar crime, oh, these politicians, these bankers pulled off this crime. George Bush, Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld, Colin Powell lied in front of the UN, committed all these crimes, yet we didn't punish them. I believe future generations will punish them. I believe there will come a time when they're punished. Just because you get away with it doesn't mean it's e illegal. For you to regurgitate a story, this is all oh, this 76,000 bananas. We know who you are. We know this is mass murder. We know this is the genocide of the Pacific. We know who the players are. We know Ray's Radnet. As you know, we call it the Plume Gate, we call it the 311 to cover up. I call it the Pacific Genocide. We know who you are, so you want to participate in this. Go for it, go for it. It's not working. The IA machine, as she said in the Battle of Chernobyl, Alice said, 
That award winning in 2006, I think it's the greatest line ever spoken. There is no wrong or right popular opinion again, Mark Twain. She says, the worst thing to come out of that melted down reactor was not cesium, was not plutonium, it was lice. This was before, talk about profound statement, before 311, the Pacific Genocide, before the mass cover up. As I've reported this in detail, we have YouTube, it's all backed up. My videos are backed up. Ryan's videos in Japan, they're all backed up. Miss Milky, they're all backed up. You're not gonna get away with it because, Your Honor, I would like to present exhibit number one, Kevin Blanche's video from March 12th, 11th. I would like to present Miss Milky the Clown's video. I would like to bring out Ryan's from Japan's video. It's there, the evidence. You are not going to destroy the evidence, Halliburton, and get away with it, get a slap on the hand. These intellectual mobs are going to turn on you. So you can regurgitate, and I want to say this too, global research as beautiful as they've done their research, to report that at the end and say, oh, the good news will come out of the dry cast survived. You know me, I'm against dry cast. I think it's ridiculous. I'm, I used to be against shooting into space. I'm for shooting into space now. As Alison McFarland has convinced me. She's convinced me that Yucca Mountain's a bad idea. Harry Reid has convinced me that Yucca Mountain's a uh, bad idea. I, I agree with them now. Shooting into space, we have the technology. Yeah, is it dangerous? Of course. People say, oh, you can't poison space. Oh, come on. It's where the sun is. As Jack Dresser in my interview says, leave what's in the sun, in the sun. We have the technology to do it. There are no good answers to creating this freaking evil monster. The dry cast in Japan, in Tokyo, that's not right to report that because number one, you don't know that. Number two, neither do I, 100%, but I'm 90% sure they did not survive. As we've seen the dry cast were pushed outside and we've seen the infrared around the dry cast. One, I don't believe they did survive. Two. They're a major, major terrorist threat. They are the number one. As in 1970, 1971, how many hijackings we threatened to fly them into a, you know, nuclear reactor. This was commonplace in America. Is how soon we forget, you hypocrites, as we won't get fooled again. You've been fooled so many times. You're done being fooled. You just crawl in the corner because we are ignorant. We can't address these issues. We can't have conversations. And all you trolls and you rats and you people that come with these ridiculous, well, why do you bother? Why do you bother? So, as you report this, we're going to remember who you are. These are crimes against humanity, and if you regurgitate this, like Pandora's promise, oh, we got monks living in Chernobyl, huh? Oh, look how safe it is, Sanjay Gupta, look how safe Let's go fishing in Lake Chernobyl. <laughs> it's not working. People don't even laugh. They know this is a, they are crimes. These are crimes against humanity. The, the genie's out of the bottle. The story's been told, and the story was always being told from day one. I reported in absolute detail. An absolute detail. So you people that refuse to report it, as I call black and yellow journalism, oh, are you going to pay? All you people that are fighting cancer and the good fight, as the angels that have passed in front of me, these people that have all been with me, I have permission to take people into our bone marrow transplant unit, which that doesn't happen anywhere in the country. Anybody who wants to go with me August 22nd, watch me get my drilled and get my treatment, you're more than happy to go with me. I'd love to take you. I've taken Megan and Melissa and a few of these people on there. It's heartbreaking. I think if everybody had been in, has been in a bone marrow transplant unit, visited there, nuclear would have been over a long time ago. Nuclear is cancer. Mutate gene. If I'm not living proof or dying proof, as we're all living and dying proof, as we're all in the same boat as I am now, yeah, the odds aren't that great with me, but I'm alive and it's one day at a time, just like you. We're all downwinders now. Let's stop and let's call these media whores out for who they are, criminals. Stay on tuning.